Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the Ford Bronco Heritage Limited Edition. So we finally received our one and only Heritage Limited Edition. They're only making 1,966 of these. Every dealer gets one. They get one of these. And we were actually able to configure this. I didn't realize that. I thought you kind of got what you uh, received from Ford and that's what you received. Um, but once you get an allocation, you can then you tell them which order you want to select of the Heritage Limited Edition. So uh, you could put more than one order into your uh, system, but Ford's only gonna take one of those for each dealership between 23 and 24 model years. So we're gonna actually gonna combine these into a 2324. I did not do a video on this in 23 or in 24 because of the, you know, there's only a few of these. And so people can't really just rush into dealerships and order them. Uh, but for those of you that chose to, so we actually configured this one uh, and didn't, uh, we didn't have a customer come forward and want to order one with us. Uh, and so we did configure this to our specifications. Pretty much fully loaded. We're gonna cover all this. So these are gonna come standard equipment with the mid package. Well, they're gonna be based off the Badlands trim in a way of some of the mechanical features and some of the off-road capabilities. Come standard Sasquatch, standard with the mid package, standard with the high package, and standard with the Lux package. And a 24, the high Lux are gonna be combined together. So all those packages are going to be standard equipment on this course with the unique look that it's going to get from the Heritage Limited Edition. So we're going to cover that as we go through this. I want you to keep that in mind that it does include all these packages because as we talk about what's standard on this, I won't actually break down which package and that I might occasionally if I can remember. Um, but otherwise we're going to cover, go completely around this vehicle. I actually used to do it this way a long time ago before uh, COVID hit, before we were doing custom orders. Uh, I would get a vehicle in and then show you what's standard, what's optional based on our in stock vehicles. So I get an opportunity to do that this time for this vehicle. So we're gonna put this out as a 24 model year because there's only like one different change between 23 and 24 for the Heritage Limited Edition. So if you like videos like this, wanna stay updated, maybe check out our playlist where we've gone now through all of the 2024 Ford Bronco build and price, how you can get those equipped. We call them our complete guide videos. Uh, we have a playlist together. If you like videos like that, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can be notified next time of another video uploaded to our channel. So let's go ahead and we're going to dive in and talk about some of the, the mechanical features first, and then we'll talk about some safety features. We'll see how we do with these mechanical features. So it's been a while for, uh, since I've had to memorize all these features uh, in, a, in a clip here uh, versus having it on a sheet in front of me. So let's go ahead and dive right in and see how we do here. So these are gonna come standard. Only engine available on this is the 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine paired with a 10 speed automatic transmission. Because of that, you're going to have trail control. You're gonna also have the one pedal, uh, trail one pedal drive and trail turn assist all included in this. So trail control is like cruise control for the trail. You can set that between one and 19 miles an hour. It takes care of the, the speed. So you can just worry about keeping that vehicle on the trail. Also, we do have the trail turn assist, which is gonna help. It's gonna kind of put the brakes on one of the wheels as you turn to help you get around those tight uh, hairpin turns on the trail. And then we have the trail one pedal drive like your EVs kind of in a sense is that you're you just as you press the gas you're going to go as you let go it's going to slow you down so that way you don't have to have a foot on uh, one foot on the brake one foot on the gas or be able to transition over so that's also all included also auto start stop technology means you to stop light stop sign press the brake it's going to shut it off let go of the brake it's going to turn it back on now there's a button you can deactivate it for each engine cycle Every time you stop the vehicle, start it back up again, you'll have to do that. Also, one of the things I noticed, if you let go of the brake just a little, still have the foot on the brake, it'll uh, deactivate it. It'll turn it back, the engine back on. Also, turn the steering wheel. That works as well. So there you go. Uh, that's all included. That button, I believe, is on by your, uh, your radio controls. So should know I have Bronco myself. All right, so that's all included. Also, it does have your train management system with your different GOAT modes. So this in here, based off of the Badlands trim, is gonna have all of them. See if I can get them all right. We got a normal mode, got an eco mode, got a sport mode, slippery mode. We do have a mud ruts mode, a sand mode, rock crawl mode, and Baja mode. I think I got them all. Not sure if the sport mode is right or not, but has all those different, uh, you just turn that dial there for the GOAT modes. It's gonna shift it into the four by four system that it needs. Uh, also changes the shifting of the transmission. 
you know, traction control can be activated, deactivated, uh, the different feel of that based on the different terrain you're on. So if you're new to this, instead of just putting, you know, not knowing if you need four high or four low, whatever, you can just go ahead and just put it in different terrain management mode. Now, also, if you want, you do have the advanced four-wheel drive system with that automatic on-demand. So you're going to have a four-auto button, so you can just click that as well, and it's going to put in a four-auto, like if you're, you know, it's raining outside, whatever like that. Um, and then, of course, when you're off-road, you should know if you need to put it in that four-low and everything like that. So that's pretty cool how all that all works. This is, again, standard Sasquatch, so it is going to have the 4.7 gear ratio on this front and rear locking differential and sway bar disconnect. The only other way you can get that is with your Badlands Edition. So pretty cool on all those features. Does have your e-pass system, electric power assist steering. Uh, of course, also it does have stability, electronic stability control, your electric parking brake, as well as uh, your, there's another one in there, I'm forgetting. Uh, so all those different technologies I've covered and all the other ones, so I knew I'd forget something, uh, but some great mechanical features and off-road capabilities here. Uh, since it has a Sasquatch, 4.7 gears, as I mentioned, front and rear locker, um, and you do have all those, those hero switches on your dash where you can uh, press those buttons for those different front and rear lockers. I like that on this, you can go in the front locker without having your rear locker activated, which is a nice benefit that you have sometimes over Jeep. I think Jeep now has it, but didn't for years. Uh, pretty cool. Also, we'll talk about the tires and the wheels in just a little bit because you're going to get upgraded with some nice tires as part of that Sasquatch package too. But that's all mechanical features. Let's talk about some safety features. Now this has all the same safety features that we have in all the different Bronco models. Uh, first talking about the, something I forgot in the mechanical features and that's your traction control. And probably could say it's a, maybe it's a safety feature. We'll throw it in. <laughs> anyway, you're gonna have electronic tr uh, traction control as well. And for your airbags, you're gonna have a dual stage front airbag. So the driver front passenger will have two different sized airbags, depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle, it deploys the correct size airbag so you don't injure yourself, but still protect you. Also, side airbags for those front seats. So driver and front passengers, you have a side impact airbag. So if they get a collision on the side of the vehicle, it's gonna deploy that airbag. I hope you don't get in an accident with this vehicle. Rear vehicle, you don't wanna get in an accident, right? But it will protect you just in case. Also, safety canopy airbags as well. Uh, so it's going to, a side curtain airbag, I should say, deploy down with a rollover sensor if it rolls the vehicle over. You know, breaking glass and such will come in if you roll that vehicle and sheet metal and such. You don't want that coming in and hurting your occupants in the front and rear seat. So you're going to have that as well. Also, uh, you're going to have the advanced track with roll stability control. Help you keep you on your intended path. So if you go into that road a little too fast, it's going to use a series of brakes in milliseconds on the wheel that it needs to, to help go in, in the path you want to go. Whether it's maybe slick out or maybe going to that curve, it's a little tighter than you thought it was or something. Didn't slow down, it'll kind of try to help you with that as well. Uh, so some great systems there. You do get uh, post-collision braking with this. So if you do get in an accident, it's going to break the vehicle so you don't have a more severe accident if you're, if you're conscious. Maybe you forget to put it in park, that kind of thing. Also, we have pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. So uh, several different technologies within that. One of them is a front collision warning. So it's going to, uh, there's somebody in front of you, it senses that they're going slower than you and you would hit them if you keep going at your current speed. This is going to alert you and let you know that. It puts a red warning on your productivity screen, series of tones that you can't uh, miss, really loud, so you can tell that. And then also, too, uh, it's going to go ahead and preload those brakes so that you can brake even faster uh, when, you re when you're ready to hit that brake. So all that comes with this. You do get child safety locks for these doors, so you can lock those out so kids can't open them from the inside. Uh, also, you get the perimeter alarm, too, so that way, you know, if you lock that vehicle up, somebody tries to, you know, get into it by pulling the door on the doors, or maybe they're trying to take your wheels and such. It's going to set the alarm, honk the horns, flash the lights, let everybody know uh, that you're trying, they're trying to steal your car. Uh, so uh, it comes with all that, those features as well. So I think I covered all the safety features. Let's get into the meat of this. Let's turn this thing around and let's look at the different exterior features on this vehicle. Now here in the front of the vehicle, of course, the first thing you notice is the Oxford white painted grill. So it actually has the same design as like your Badland or your black diamond grill, but it's going to be painted up here, which is actually one of my favorite designs of the grills. And then it does have kind of a black high gloss in between here. And then also you're going to get the race red Ford letters. So instead of Bronco, you're going to have the Ford on there. Again, heritage to the 1966. We do have LED headlights up here with the signature lining. LED, uh, of course, bright. Um, also, 
this is an automatic feature. So they'll come on automatically when you have an automatic setting. They'll come on automatically when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light. Also, auto high beams is also included in this. Similar to that, when it's really dark outside, turns those high beams on. When somebody approaches you in the city of lights, it's automatically like turn them off. Now, auto high beams can be activated and deactivated in your, in your lighting section of your vehicle setting screen, as well as daytime running lights, which will be that red, or the, the ring, I should say, around it. Of course, this here is gonna be white. When you turn your turn signals on, it's gonna to turn to that amber color there. So that's the kind of what this what we're looking at here. We do, of course, have these uh, trail guides here, these hooks that you can hook on different things and accessories to this, as well as uh, lines for branches, uh, for limb uh, guards and everything. We do have this capable front bumpers you can see on this one here. We'll have your fog lights in there as well that are LED, by the way, front sensing system in here. So you're gonna be able to get alert if you get too close to anything in the front. Uh, comes in handy in those driveways, right? In the, in the garages. Also, you're gonna see your tow hooks right down here as well. They're gonna be a steel. So this is a steel, a capable steel bumper here for you uh, with those tow hooks. You'll have active grill shutters that open and close when it needs to, to open those up and allow for airflow into the vehicle. Also, you're gonna get the three and six of your cameras. So one of the cameras is right up here uh, that will also, when you're in four by four mode, give you that front camera system as well up here. Um, there you go. I think I've covered everything. Again, I'm not used to doing it from here without my cheat sheets there. Uh, so I think I've covered everything on here. Uh, let's move this around to the side. Now moving around to the side is you're gonna see the wheel. So this is a dedicated wheel. You won't find that's in any other trim. It's gonna be that black high gloss 17 inch wheel with the Oxford white ring around it. So that's that dog dish design that they're trying to inspire from, from the past. Uh, also of course comes with a 35 inch all-terrain tire as well. Uh, so that's an LT315 uh, 70 R17, just like you're gonna get on the Sasquatch package. So that is a nice Goodyear uh, all-terrain tire there that's gonna come with this. Of course, you're gonna get tire pressure monitoring system for all these tires. Also the ABS uh, analog braking system as well. Um, all that's gonna come with this too. Uh, you do get the squared off fender flare. So that is the heritage style. It's molded in black fender flare there. Uh, those can come off. Um, you can just twist those and you can pull those off just like the other fender flares. I like this. You're only going to see this style of fender flare on this, the Heritage Edition, and your Everglades. Uh, we do have the running boards on the side. I call them running boards. They call them the um, tube steps, um, but there's nothing round about these. Uh, so there you go. Uh, has a Bronco on there, so you're going to have the step, side step over here for you. Going to have the dedicated uh, graphics on the side, so the white Heritage stripe across the back, a side over it, I should say. Also on here, the Bronco script lettering. You will not see that on the Heritage Edition. So that is distinct and unique to the uh, Heritage Limited Edition. Also for the mirror here, you're gonna get some great features. Molded in black mirror cap on this. You're gonna get the security approach lamp that's gonna light the ground beside the vehicle. Also the LED spotlight. So that's, there's two buttons there. One that lights the left side, the right side. Also power, heated glass too. Um, we do have the Bliss system, blind spot information system as part of that mid package with cross traffic alert. So if there's someone in your blind spot, it's gonna put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. If you're backing up, it uses, it lights up those lights. Uh, if someone's gonna cross your path behind you, it's gonna, productivity screen's gonna light up red and let you know you, you need to uh, stop because there's somebody that's gonna cross behind you. If you look in the rear view camera, it actually, or the, the center stack screen where the rear view camera is, it actually shows an arrow going, see, to, so you know if they're coming from the left or the right, so you know it's clear to go after they're crossed. Uh, so pretty good on how that works. Also, I believe, yep, 360 camera. So as I mentioned earlier on the front, you have the camera on the front, camera under each of these mirrors in the back, so you can see completely around you. But also when you put it in four by four on the trail, it gives you that front camera. Wish I had that on mine. So that is part of that uh, high package, I believe. Anyway, uh, so there you go. We do have the course keyless entry keypad we added. That's optional equipment. But that is not included the standard equipment. So uh, we actually added on this particular vehicle. It is uh, body colored on the outside of that. Uh, makes it look real nice and it's located right there. Also, we do have intelligent access. So with the key fob in your pocket, you just walk up, put your door, hands in the door handle, automatically unlocks the vehicle. It's for the front two doors, as well as the swing uh, gate, which we'll talk about. Uh, there's a button on the outside. Just press that button, it locks it up. Now, remember not to put your hands while you press the button. That won't work. You'll have to just press it without your fingers in the door handles. Also, keyless entry, so you can unlock, lock it at a distance, and remote start. Since it's automatic, you can remote start it from a distance using your remote too. Uh, that's all included with this. Uh, child safety lock we talked about, privacy glass in these back windows, quarter windows, and back glass. 
Uh, two doors, of course, wouldn't have those windows, so quarter windows and a back glass. Uh, you're gonna get the hard top, so it's gonna be an Oxford white painted hard top, whether it be two door or four door configuration. Uh, I haven't mentioned that before, but you can get this in two door or four door. Uh, so uh, front two panels are two different pieces, one over the driver's side, one over the passenger side. This one is one long piece. Of course, if you have a two door, you won't have this long piece. And then of course, this one comes off too, uh, but these have latches that they can come off pretty easily and pull those off. Storage bags are gonna be included for these front two panels, the standard equipment on whether it be two door or four door. Uh, you would have to option for the middle one. Uh, that's part of your optional equipment uh, for that one there. There you go. Uh, see what else? Easy fuel capless fill door. You just open this up. Uh, no cap to worry about. Lean behind, getting your hands dirty, anything like that. Just put that nozzle in, fill it up when you're done. Just shut that door, put your nozzle away, of course, and you're good to go. So that's something that's been out for a long time uh, in the vehicle. And something I noticed, a little hidden gem, a little Sasquatch right back here in the corner on the driver's side. You won't see that on the passenger side, but it is on the driver's side over here. Uh, so there you go. I think I've covered everything on here. If not, I'll let you know. Now, moving to the backpack here, of course, these are going to be standard hard tops, so this will have a flip open glass, rear wiper, rear defrost as well, uh, back here, and a rear washer as well on there. Going to have a full size spare, so that spare tire is going to match, the wheel is going to match, the tire is going to match to all the others. You're going to have your uh, rear brake light back here, I call it the third brake light. Uh, back there too. LED tail lights are going to be included in this too. Uh, of course, intelligent access also works for their for your uh, open lift gate as well here. Uh, so when you put your hands in the door handle, it's going to unlock the vehicle and then press the, the ridge is just going to lock it all up. So if you're getting in the rear cargo area last, you can just lock it, locks it up. Or if you're getting into it first, it unlocks it. You don't have to get uh, go to the other doors and get your remote out. Uh, here on the bumper uh, has a steel capable rear bumper back here, reverse sensing system. So as you're backing up, it's going to alert you and let you know that. Rear view camera is located here, so you're going to be able to see behind you. Uh, also, of course, we already mentioned it has a 360 degree camera too. Uh, this in here does have get trailer sway control as standard equipment. You'll notice we did upgrade to the tow capa capability package with this. Uh, and again, that's we'll cover that in optional equipment here in just a little bit. Um, also, we do have in here, now this is, does have the dual top, so that's just how it comes. Dual top's included. This in here, uh, we elected, the, of course, the license plate bracket, which we're going to talk about in a little bit, and the bags. Uh, this in has, comes with the two uh, front panel uh, door bags, as well as we, uh, they also elected to get the door bags. Um, did I say door bags? I meant the roof. I saw the little pictures of the doors. Uh, this has the two for the, the front panels up there, standard equipment, but also they elected to uh, added the door bags here. And then this one, we added the dual top. And that's how it comes in the vehicle here. Do you have a cargo area light? There's one there. Uh, also one here. I think mine doesn't have one up there from 21. So you have that uh, area light. You have a PowerPoint in there as well. Um, Everything else I think I got covered there. Um, also, something else that I forgot I normally talk about when I get to, when I talk about the front with the um, with the front bumper, and that is this. This has a full vehicle dash uh, bash plates underneath, uh, so it protects it just like the Badlands would get. So it covers all the way underneath it, so you can do some off roading with it as well. So now let's move inside and talk about some of those interior features. All right, so moving to the end here. Uh, so we're going to do this uh, similar to what I do it in at the uh, at the desk there. Um, and uh, on the computer. So starting here with the interior, you do have carpeted flooring in here. So you got carpet flooring throughout. You're going to get uh, the mats as well as going to come with that. I think we uh, did upgrade it for floor liners with this particular unit. Uh, now, if you look at the overall look of the vehicle, you're going to see the gross grab handles are going to have the race red accent on those, on all of them, on, on both sides in the vents. Also, you're going to see that. So those red accents. The Bronco is going to be filled in uh, as well on the dash. Oxford white dash insert as well right there. Kind of a, a brown on the top over here on the doors. Uh, you will get race red even on these uh, these pulls on the doors as well as the stitching on your shifter knob. Uh, so pretty cool on how that works. You get a special badge right here. Uh, I've been looking for like a serialized badge to see what number this is. Uh, not sure where that's located, but uh, that's going to be in here as well. So pretty cool on all that. Now you're going to get the plaid leather seats. It'll have Oxford white and race red stitching on it. Uh, so you're going to have the leather seats, whether it be two-door or four-door, you'll have leather seats. 
Two door will we'll have manual, six way manual adjustment for the driver and front passenger. So you just pull the lever on the front, it'll slide forward and back. There's a lever on the side to go up and down and a lever for the backrest to go forward and back. Now, when you go to the four door, you're gonna get the power seat adjustment. Uh, so uh, electronically, uh, the driver is a 10 way driver. So you have the, the back goes forward and back. You have power lumbar. Um, of course, the cushion goes forward and back. It goes up and down as well. Uh, I think, yeah, uh, the front cushion goes up and down as well as the back cushion. Now the passenger seat, I think is an eight way power adjustment seat over there uh, that just has the seat go up and down. And I think that's the only difference on that seat there. Heated seat, driver and front passenger will have heated seat as well in here. Now the, the uh, two door on the back seat is gonna be a 50-50 split bench seat seating two back there. Uh, if it's, it, what this one is the four door, so you're gonna have the 60-40 split bench seat. Of course, the seats are laid down, so I can't show you what that looks like, but it will have an armrest that comes down. Um, and then, of course, the backrest can lean back as well. Lat system as well, that lower anchors and tethers for children. Uh, so you can go ahead and uh, fasten those front or rear facing car seats into those car seats. And if it's a front facing one, there's a latch on the back of the seat so you can harness that out so the, so the top part will not come forward in a collision. So uh, pretty cool how that all works. Uh, on the back of the console is where you're gonna see the power window switches for your, for your four door versions. USB A and C, I believe, ports down there. I can't, actually can't reach them because of this. And then also there's gonna be an outlet on the back of that as part of that mid package uh, back there too. And uh, does have the Molly uh, strap system back here, which I didn't think it included that when you went to the leather, but it does have that back here. I can feel it. <laughs> I didn't check that out before the video. Uh, so some great features there in the back seat. Now here on the, the driver's seat, you will get your, in, of course, front passenger, your power locks are gonna be on the door over here as well. Uh, of course, uh, does have a leather wrap steering wheel with the race red stitching on there. So I love, and actually they do in the order guide say it's a luxury leather wrap steering wheel. So I know how that's different than a regular leather. Kind of feels like mine, but uh, there you go. I think it's because of the stitching is a little bit different on that. You do have a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. You just pull that lever over here. It goes uh, up and down, forward and back, so you can get it just right uh, where you need it. Uh, you do for the screen is an eight inch uh, color digital screen on there. Uh, so you're gonna have that as well as your speedometer on the left side. Uh, so it's the same screen you get on all the other Broncos. Uh, and then of course you do have the cruise control over here on the left. You're gonna get the adaptive cruise control that's included in that Lux package. So adaptive cruise, as you go come up behind somebody, you're gonna slow you down to go their speed until you pass them and it will resume. Uh, you can choose that gap and such right there. Also you're gonna get the lane keeping system, which when you don't have the cruise on, it'll help try to keep you in your lane. So, um, and I actually, I think this works even with your cruise on, sorry. Uh, but what it'll do is try to keep you in your lane. So it has an alert feature that if you go over your lines, will vibrate the steering wheel and let you know you've left your lane. But the aid system will help keep you in your lane. So get over to the line and then bring you in and try to keep you in. Now, if you have both of them activated at the same time, it'll vibrate the steering wheel when you get to the line, but then bring you over. And then the driver alert feature of that will actually remind you that you're, if you're taking your hands off the steering wheel too often. So, uh, which is something you can activate and deactivate. I deactivated on mine. <laughs> so anyway, I know I shouldn't, I shouldn't, but I do. Um, and then on the right side of the uh, steering wheel, you're gonna have some audio controls, your Bluetooth controls to make and receive and phone calls, the buttons to control the productivity screen there and everything. And then on the left side of the bottom, we'll have your audio controls for your radio as well right there. Uh, heated steering wheel as well, almost forgot that. Heated steering wheel that's gonna be included as part of either the Lux or the High Package, I can't remember which. Um, so, and then of course your wiper switch and turn signal over here on the left side. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have all that. Uh, and then of course push button starts, so you don't have to get the keys out to get in or out or to start the vehicle. Uh, you're gonna have that. Dual zone climate control, so the driver, front passenger, have two different temperatures there. Uh, so that's real nice, kind of a real nice if the sun's coming in one side, then they both, both don't have to go with the same temperature, one freeze and one get hot. Uh, also, we do have, of course, with that, your radio controls, I uh, believe is a, I didn't look this up, this part, AM, FM, I believe it's the B&O audio, yes, B&O audio sound system with 12 speakers, I believe, 10 or 12 speakers with a subwoofer uh, and does have the Sirius XM satellite with the 360L as well does have the sync 4 system with as you can see the 12 inch touchscreen very jealous of that i have an 8 inch in mine 12 inch touchscreen with the information on demand the wireless android auto apple carplay it has the owner digital owner's manual uh of course 911 assist all the featured the conversational voice commands which means you can set it up to say okay ford and it'll listen so you don't have to hit this uh, and that kind of thing 
Uh, so real nice, your backup camera and front camera are gonna come up on this screen as well. Now above this, you do have your hero switches here. It has your hazard as well as your traction control, the rear locker, um, is uh, your trail turn assist, I should say, your rear locker, front locker, and your sway bar disconnect right here. I'm so jealous, uh, has all of the buttons right there. Up here, you're gonna have a, a, some USB type A and C ports uh, on the dash. Uh, so that's really nice. If you wanna set up a system up here with GoPros and different things like that, you can just plug those in up there. Auto dimming rear view mirror. So it's gonna automatically dim that mirror. Cars come behind you with those bright lights. Uh, you don't have to have a lever to worry about there. You have your interior lights as well right here. It does have the ambient foot lighting as well. Almost forgot that. Uh, upfitter switches up here too. Uh, they call them auxiliary switches too. So you can program different lights. Uh, you know, if you wanna put some LED lights, light bars, a winch, uh, air compressor, those kind of things, you can uh, program those in. The, the pre-wiring will run to the wires over here on, on the driver's side towards the back of the engine bay. I should be able to find those in different colors. There's charts online if you need to know which ones go to which buttons. On the visor, you have garage door openers for three different garage doors or transmitters you can program. On the visors itself, you can pull down. They do have illuminated mirrors as well, so they'll light up so you can uh, see to make sure your hair looks good after taking your hat off, that kind of thing. Uh, otherwise, I think that's it. Uh, don't forget, the Bronco Trail app is now active. You can download it. It's the only manufacturer that have their own trail app. Um, and uh, so it has different trails on there. They keep updating it as well as on the trail you can use it. Uh, so I know when it first came out, it was a struggle for some people, um, but it's getting better and better as they more times they update it. They're adding more trails to this and everything, which is really great uh, as well. And then don't forget about the Ford Pass Connect that allows you to stay connected to the vehicle using the Ford Pass app. You connect your phone in, you can unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere, remote start your vehicle from anywhere, schedule remote start times, locate your vehicle. Uh, you can um, see the tire pressure on your uh, tires as well as how much gas you have in your vehicle all through that app, Just great. Uh, locking glove box, that's usually where the tool, cat, the tool kit is gonna be. There you go, so all the tools you need to take the top off, the roof off, the doors off are all in this bag, which is really cool to have. I've added to mine. Uh, so that I have things that I need that maybe aren't included. Um, I think that's it. On the front of here, the console, you have the switches for your windows, uh, for all four windows, auto, auto, um, one touch going up and down, which is really nice. So you just uh, press hard, press it down and it's going to go down. You don't have to hold it coming up. You just pull it to for that click and to do the same thing for the front and rear doors on the four door, just of course the front ones on the two door. Your uh, power mirror switch is also right here. Just press that left and right and then adjust it with that button. Um, let's see what else. Um, the goat mode switch is right here. Your shifter, of course, uh, right there in your glove box too, which is lockable. If you need to, you can put storage in there as well. I think I covered everything off for here on the interior. So I did forget a couple things. Um, we I forgot to mention about the evasive steering assist that is also included. It's kind of part of your adaptive cruise control. So if you cannot stop in time and you need to avoid it, it's going to assist in the steering and doing that. Now that's something you can activate and deactivate in your settings, uh, but that is also included as well as navigation. Totally forgot about navigation. You will have the on-screen navigation that's included with this. Uh, for 2024, it's a one year of service on that. And I believe in 23 model year, it's a three year service. This is a this is a 23, so it's three years. Um, and then the audio sound system, Beano audio sound system with 10 speakers, including a subwoofer. Now I'm done. Now that we've talked about all the standard equipment, let's talk about some different factory options. And I'm gonna break this out and I probably will not cover some of those accessories and dealer installed options because most all those are things that you can get through Ford Accessories if you want to. But let's talk about some factory installed options that you might think about getting that we added to this one. Now one of them uh, for 23 is the keypad entry keypad, this uh, keypad entry. Uh, for 24 model year, that is a dealer installed option now. Uh, so there's a difference there and I don't, cannot, I don't know if it's gonna be body colored around that. So that's one thing that you wanna think about. Also, if you wanna get the dual top, not a bad idea. They have not enough orders for a cloth top as it is. So if you get this with a cloth top, it shouldn't hold up anything uh, because they just throw the cloth top in the back. They actually uh, harness it in in the back. Uh, I'll show you a clip of that. Uh, so that's also included. So that is something you can get, getting you the dual top as well. Upgraded floor liners, if you want to do uh, kind of upgrade those from the Heritage one, Heritage Limited ones that you get, you can get upgraded floor liners if you want to. Uh, also, engine block heater. So if you live in that really cold state and this is your daily driver, something you keep it outside, 
heaven forbid you keep this outside, but if you do, uh, you can uh, plug in the, the engine block heater up there and plug that in. And uh, so that way you can keep it warm, plugging it into your house. So also if you live in a state that requires two tags, one on the front, it's gonna be standard equipment. The dealer will install that when it gets there. If you're in a state like Kansas, this doesn't require it, which is awesome. So you don't have to put one on the front, but if you want to put something special on there, you'll need to add that as optional equipment and the dealership still installs that free of charge, but you wanna do it so that way the factory includes it. This one has it in it and we don't put it on. Um, we, you know, we let the customers tell us if they want that put on. Um, there you go. I think that's all of your factory kind of installed options. Um, of course, there are some different accessories and such. Uh, tow capacity package is also in 23, is a factory installed option. We elected to go with that on this one, so it will have the tow hitch as you saw um, when we were on the back. Uh, so it has the hitch, the four pin, seven pin wiring. In 24 model year though, that is a dealer installed option. So it wouldn't hold anything up, of course. Um, so then it gets, the dealer would install the hitch and the wiring harness, assuming the wiring's already there. We don't really know yet, uh, but there you go. Those are some of the different options that you can get for this for 23 as well as 24 model year from the factory. One option I did forget uh, real quick that you can get from the, that's a factory installed option as well is the hoop step. So it's gonna be kind of more of a round rock rail on the side with steps for the front and back or just the front if you have a two door and those steps can come off. So you can take those off when you go out on the trail and such. And so that is also a factory installed option. So the rest of them, again, not gonna cover uh, your different Ford accessories that are actually you know, put in. Usually they're like floor liners and stuff like that. You can, uh, for 24, the slide out tailgate is actually standard equipment. Uh, can't remember if I covered that when I was in the back or not, but slide out tailgate is uh, 2024 standard equipment, but is available in 2023. Wouldn't be with this, it's not available with the dual top. So if you do elect to go that way or decide to get a dual top on your four door, um, of course, I don't know if I mentioned that either. The dual top is only for four door models, not two door. Uh, if you get that, then you cannot get the slide out tailgate for your four door models. So something else to think about on that. So, all right, I think I've covered everything. Hopefully you did like this video uh, going over the Heritage Limited Edition. It's kind of cool seeing one in person. Um, of course, we're only gonna get one. So when this is sold, it's gone. Uh, but again, available in two different colors, the Robin's Egg Blue and the Yellowstone uh, for 24. I can't remember for 23, I think it's the two colors as well. Uh, so uh, most of them that I'm seeing is in this Robin Egg Blue. I really love that color. Um, you know, I think it looks really good with the interior on this. Uh, Yellowstone, don't know about that, but I'm getting used to that. But uh, there you go. So these are very rare. So hope you guys get your hands on one and hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, so I would actually normally at this point tell you, hey, place an order and such, but hopefully you find a dealer has an allocation that you can put one in for and they get sell you to it a good deal. Uh, I know at the beginning, these are gonna be way over MSRP for most of them, because again, they're very rare, less than what you can get on a, a wrap for Raptors. Raptors are going for over MSRP um, and such, so um, this will be pretty hard. There's, like I said, they're only gonna make 1,966 in two different, in over two years, uh, period. So uh, hopefully you did get your hands on one, and if you did, smash that like button either way if you like the video smash that like button i'd really appreciate it and thank you for watching this video check out our other bronco videos and other videos by being subscribed to the channel hit the notification bell and thank you for watching until the next video don't forget stay positive be kind to one another be kind to yourself and we'll see you on the next video